is our second math cast on systems of linear equations, two linear equations and two variables, using the addition or elimination method. Here is our system, and we want to solve this system using the addition method. Remember that the first step in solving using the addition method is to line up the equations. So we need x, y equals constants. So we have the x on the left side, that's no problem. The y is over here, so when it moves to the left, it's going to change sign. It was plus, it becomes minus. And then we have an equals, and the constant is over here on the left side. It needs to move to the right side, so it also changes sign. The second equation, the 3x is on the left side. The minus 4y needs to go on the right side, so we add it, plus 4y equals, and the 2 is on the correct side. So now we have lined up our equations. We see that, again, we have a minus with a plus, so we might as well use that. In order to make these the same so that they're eliminated when we add them, we multiply by the opposite coefficients. So this one gets multiplied by this 4, and this one gets multiplied by the 3. And we have multiplying each term by 4. 4 times 2 is 8x. 4 times minus 3 is minus 12y equals 4 times 7 is 28. And then we have 3 times 3 is, is 9x. 3 times 4 is t plus 12y. We see that we've got it going right. Equals. And 3 times 2 is 6. Now here comes our second crucial step. So this was the first one, line them up. This was the second one, multiply. The third one is we go up to the top and pick the easiest equation. They're about the same, so I guess we'll pick the top one. 2x minus 7 equals 3y. Now, the second part here is the blue plus red is purple. 8x and 9x is 17x. These are eliminated equals 28 and 6 is 34. We have our one equation and one unknown here. So we solve it. Remember we're dragging along the first one until we get a solution to the second one. So we divide both sides by 17 and that works out nicely for us. It is a 2. So now we take this result here and we substitute it back into the first equation. So we have 2 times a purple 2 minus 7 equals 3y and now we're dragging along the bottom equation. We're always dragging along 1. So we have 4 minus 7 equals 3y and we're dragging along x equals 2. We're solving this equation here that is now in one variable, right? So how much is 4 minus 7 minus 3 equals 3y and x equals 2. Like I always say, I don't like to have my variables on the right side, so I will switch that one around before working it out. So 3y equals minus 3, x equals 2. Now I'm comfortable dividing by 3, and I see that y equals minus 1, and x equals 2. So this is our solution right here. If we write it as an ordered pair, we have solution is x is equal to 2 and minus 1. Remember to order them x, y. 
Let's check this in the other equation. We used the top equation as we went along, so we're going to check it in this equation. 3x equals 2 minus 4y. So we have 3 times 2, and we're asking whether that is equal to 2 minus 4 times minus 1. And so we have, the question is whether 6 is equal to 2, and this is 4 times minus 1, so the ch sign changes, plus 4. And indeed, we see that that is good, 6 equals 6. So here is our solution written as that way or as an ordered pair.